Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss some questions based on a joint of a matrix and its properties. As in the previous lecture students, we have discussed about the adjoint of a matrix and the properties and we have also discussed about how to find the inverse of a matrix okay so now firstly i am writing down the question here and then we will discuss it okay so students here is the question that is given to us we are given a matrix a and we need to verify whether a adjoint a is equals to mod a times i okay so first i will find out the value of mod a which will be 1 into 16 minus 9 that is 7 minus 3 times 4 minus 3 that is 1 plus 3 times 3 minus 4 so this is 7 minus 3 minus 3 it is equals to 1 so it is a known singular matrix okay now we will find out the cofactors of each element which are a11 is 16 minus 9 17 and this is 16 minus 9 is 7 okay so a12 will be a negative sign with this 4 minus 3 1 so it is minus 1 similarly i can write down all the cofactors okay i hope students we have earlier discussed about minors and cofactors and now you can easily find out the values of each cofactor so that is why i am not discussing it here how to find out the cofactors or the minors i am simply writing it because i have already solved these okay so these are the cofactors of each element in matrix a so now i can write the adjoint of a will be 7 minus 1 minus 1 i have already taken the transpose here so it is minus 3 1 0 and minus 3 0 1 so this is the adjoint of a now what we need to verify is a times adjoint of a a adjoint a equal mod a i so this is 7 minus 3 minus 3 let me erase this because first we need to find write down a 1 3 3 1 4 3 1 3 4 into a joint of a now 7 minus 3 minus 3 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 so after solving this student what we will get is a adjoint A is coming out to be 1000101001 which is identity matrix whose determinant value is 1 ok now if you find out the mode A is that is also coming out to be 1 then we can see that this is true now we need to find out A inverse next okay so as i have told you the formula for a inverse is adjoint of a upon mod a and the mod a is here is one so it is equals to adjoint of a which is seven minus three minus three minus one one zero minus one zero one okay so this is the a inverse matrix that we need to find out okay now let's discuss one more question students so students here is a question that is given to us if a is this and b is this then we need to solve 
AB inverse, we need to verify that whole AB inverse is equals to B inverse into A inverse. Okay, so first we will find out the value of AB which is 2, 3, 1, minus 4 into so this is coming out to be 2, 3 into 1, minus 1 this is minus 1, 5, 5, minus 4, 3 okay, so this is the AB matrix as you can see the mode AB is not uh, 0 so AB inverse also exists so AB inverse is 1 by mod AB into a joint of AB so mod AB will be 14 minus 25 that is 11 minus 11 so it is minus 1 by 11 and the adjoint of each is simply replacing So this is coming out to be 14, 5, 5, 1. So AB whole inverse is coming out to be this. Now we will find out A inverse which is minus 1 by 11 because 2 into minus 4 is minus 8, minus 3, minus 11 and the transpose of each element. And similarly, B inverse is 3 minus 2, the mod is 1 here. So, B inverse into A inverse is coming out to be students 1 by 11 into 14, 5, 1, 5, 1. And this is equals to AB inverse, which we need to show. So, hence, we have verified that this is holds true so i hope students now you are pretty clear about how to find out the inverse of a matrix and how to find a joint of a matrix and if you are still facing any issue then please please do comment in the comment section happy learning thank you